This article is coming from CNBC. Spotify shares fall on revenue miss and weak guidance. It's all about that guidance. So shares are falling after the company released second quarter results that miss analyst estimates for revenue and offer weaker than expected guidance. The stock market is a forward type mechanism. So it's not what you've done for me lately. It's what you're going to do for me in the future. Although revenue was up 11% year over year. Spotify posted a loss per share of 85 euro cents in Q2. It said it expects to report total revenue of 3.3 billion euros for the third quarter, down from 3.4 billion as expected. The music streaming company reported 551 million monthly active users for the quarter, up 27% year over year. Okay, that's good. There were 36 million net additions to monthly active users during the quarter. Spotify also reported 220 million paid subscribers up 17% from a year ago. That's good, but at what was the cost? Spotify is continuing to invest in advertising and its ad supported revenue grew 12% year over year. The company said podcast advertising revenue growth reaccelerated to more than 30% year over year. Hint, hint, Joe Rogan. On Monday, Spotify announced plans to increase the price of its premium subscription offer as much as $2, which translates to a 20% rise in some plans. The company said that the market landscape has continued to evolve since Spotify launched and that the changes will help the company continue to deliver value to fans and artists. All right, so let's get into the charts. We're going to start with the monthly chart, and you can see that uh, we had um price make lower lows on the monthly chart you know that's definitely divergence if i pull up a relative strength index you can see that the index was making high lows and uh this 120 level was a crucial level as you had support became resistance 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 eventually broke out um it's fair to say that this level at 120 was also crucial as that was previous support which became resistance once you closed above this 120 level it's kind of smooth sailing until the 150 level all right again on the major time frame the monthly ch chart you have this big band of resistance uh, and it appears that for the month price is not going to be able to break through it's primarily due to the sell-off that we saw today let's go to the weekly chart and uh, again once we broke through that resistance at 120 um, it was kind of smooth sailing to the 150 160 level you have your moving averages pointing up so this was a setup on the daily chart um, we had a gap up in price uh, only to close bearish to close that gap you come into your moving averages you come into um, the origin of the gap higher and this was a nice trade setup you have the moving averages serving as confluence and again the target was this 160 level 150 level being the conservative target alright so what's interesting is that prices gap down before earnings this morning so this probably was a tail sign of what was to come potentially um, now honestly I thought that this at level would have held as usually when you break out you retest that origin of the breakout of, of resistance or support but based on the news today um, that caused the stock to gap down now price is nipping up against this 100 day moving average um, question is how f low will price go you do have a 200 day moving average at 118 however I don't anticipate price getting that low uh, let's zoom back out to the weekly chart I'm 
going to take that setup off. I mean, this is bearish between 170 and 180. You are testing the 26 weekly average, simple moving weekly average. It's also the 100 day moving average on the daily chart. Um, what level is this? 140. You know, I don't see any levels of interest for buyers to step in. So I'm going to just draw that out. Um, in this case, you probably got to use the rule of three after earnings or a significant increase or decrease in price. Rule of three says wait three days, read the price action to determine potentially the uh, the next direction where price wants to go. Uh, if we had three candles here, I could show you um, how the candle of control works, uh, but that will be in another video. Um, I mean, this is $15 fall. Let's see if prices can base here before moving higher. You know, because the trend is up, right? And typically, you have the impulse move, correction, and potentially you have the setup of an impulse move higher. I like 200. You got resistance, support. That's also a round hole psychological number. Let's put a line in here. Let's see what happens over the coming months. Uh, but if you wanted the chance to get into Spotify, this might be the opportunity to go long as price did pull back. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.